Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chloe Brown and today I um filmed a makeup tutorial and I was like, oh yeah, this is gonna be a great makeup tutorial. I ended up just like rambling the whole time because I felt like I just wanted to talk to you guys. I just wanted to preface that I appreciate you guys more than you know. And I know that sounds weird because I'm just talking to a camera, but seriously, knowing that you guys are on the other end once I post this, even if it is a couple days after I have my rant, I feel like I'm talking to you and I just appreciate you guys listening and being a part of my life, even though I might, will never meet you in person. I truly am so grateful for every single one of you that watches my stuff, that follows me, that supports me, that encourages me, just hangs out and talks to me sometimes. <laughs> um, I know on this side of the camera, I know that I spend a lot of time trying to encourage you guys or just sharing little parts of my life that, um, I don't know, are real and authentic and vulnerable. Um, and I just thank you guys so much for receiving that in the kindest manner, but also sharing me with me your stories. And I think that's the amazing thing about social media is if you truly appreciate it and you appreciate the people that are behind the camera or doing whatever, you can take a lot away from social media, but there's also really bad things. So I, I don't know. I just, I'm so thankful for my followers. I truly, truly mean it. Like I have the best followers I could ever ask for. You guys are amazing. I don't know, I feel like a lot of you guys are in the same life stage as me or like a head one. And I really appreciate that you guys are more of a mature audience that watches me because um, that's exactly what I prayed for when starting this whole journey is I didn't want a whole bunch of people that were just negative with each other. And you guys are so uplifting and you truly care about me. And I just wanted to say thank you so much for your continued support. So during this rant, just kind of keep that in mind that I'm talking to you like I would a friend. Welcome to this get ready with me. I kind of just felt like I needed to talk to somebody. <laughs> There's been a lot going on uh, with just updating of, I guess I'll update you. We've been in escrow three times, okay? We get appraisals done and the house is worth way less than what we offered. There's a lot of back and forth. And, and homeowners are just really attached to their houses. And I'm not going to pay $30,000 more for a house because somebody's attached to it. That's just kind of what's been happening. But it's just defeating. It's really defeating. We're finally in escrow again with somebody who <laughs> doesn't think their house is overpriced. We're actually hoping, are hoping to get a really good deal um, on this house. So anyways, it's just been kind of, kind of stressful. It's been really stressful just because... See that? That's called stress. <laughs> yeah, I'm just over it. It's been almost a year of house hunting and being patient and literally going out to Chattanooga seven times. We're going out again <laughs> to uh, look at this one in person. I don't know. I'm just tired. I'm over it. Yesterday, I kind of, I went to my sister's house and I was like, I'm just tired. <laughs> I want this to work. And it's not like we're on a timetable, but we like are in our mind, you know? And so I know to be patient and I feel like I have. And sometimes I'm like, we both are like, God, like, I don't understand. <laughs> Why is it taking so long? It, it is what it is. It, it will be great. Whatever happens, when it happens, it's just, I'm like, okay. I thought my patience was being tested a while ago, but I'm just like, hmm. I'm pretty resilient at this point. Like, thank you, Lord, for making me resilient, I guess. That's just kind of the story of my life. It's like, I know this is very, <laughs> a minimal thing. We have a beautiful house that we live in now. I'm very thankful for it. Uh, we're born and raised in California. We just love the South. We lived in the South for a whole three years and we just can't wait to get back to Tennessee, you know? But it's just, um, I'm tired of that limbo phase, I guess. Because I keep on saying, oh, when I get to Chattanooga, I'm going to work out again. Because I don't want to get a gym pass right now. Oh, when I get to Chattanooga, we're going to do this and do that. And schooling for my daughter and blah, 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 blah. It's just a lot of unknowns. And everybody hates living in the unknown, okay? Nobody does, but I'm just tired. Mentally. 
not physically i feel fine physically but it kind of makes you in this scenario it kind of makes me reevaluate re life because one of my um girlfriends is the department head of hair at the voice um she does other things as well like shark tank and whatever her name is Gerilyn and she's amazing she's a rock star so one of her i think it's her like assistant or like the person right underneath her in uh, the hair department at The Voice. Her name is Megan. And I met her when she was pregnant with her second. And uh, she was just such a beautiful, beautiful lady. And she was pregnant. And she was, she was like big pregnant, you know, and still working like full time all day. And these are not early, like easy days. These are, you get there at the butt crack of dawn and you don't leave until 10 o'clock at night kind of days. I'm just like, you are a rock star. Like, I'd be like, nope, I'm done. I'm pregnant. I'm just gonna go sit on the couch and wait for this baby to come. And um, I got to talking with her and she was just so sweet. Um, she just found out three weeks ago that she has stage four colon cancer. And it's just like, for me, it was a reality check. And it's just like, I'm complaining about my life over here. And sure, my problems are a lot smaller than hers, um, but they're still problems and they're still validated, you know, whatever. But I'm just like, it gave me a whole new perspective of just being thankful. No matter what situation you're in, there's always a silver lining. Even in her case, she's just, she started a YouTube channel to just share with everybody um, what's been going on and it's a lot easier just to like talk to a camera rather than people because you can just get what you need out there and then like have your emotions be processed later that's what youtube has kind of been for me a lot of ways especially when i started it was like i just needed to process some of my things and like talk about them out loud to just like get them out there and it it, de it de definitely helps you yeah i was just listening to her and like her whole world is upside down right now and um so if you guys can say a prayer for her, that would be amazing. Um, but she is just finding the silver lining and everything right now. And it just kind of encourages me to do the same and appreciate my life right now. And, um, and I know that there's seasons like that for everybody. Like right when my dad passed away. It's really sad that that's six years ago. Um, my world was upside down. And uh, it's just life is life and everybody goes through things and, and ultimately everybody passes away. Um, but it, I think those situations just make me really kind of simplify life and not get so caught up in the busyness or the stresses of it and um just makes you really thankful for the things that you do have around you and the blessings that you do have and i don't know i just kind of encourage you like whatever you're going through just simplify and be thankful even if it's just like a breath you know just like thank you that my lungs are healthy enough to breathe right now or my legs are good to walk and my body is working and there's so much to be thankful for. And I think now, like with social media and the gratification of like, we get everything so quick and there's no waiting for anything. And it's like, before we had cell phones, we literally just have more faith in people. Like we just have more faith that people are okay. Um, and now if like my husband goes out and I text him and he doesn't text me back, I'm like, oh my gosh, did he get in a car accident? Like there's no faith in our society now very little faith it's because everything is so uh easy for us and we are so entitled to <laughs> quick responses we are very impatient people i don't know it just kind of makes me want to just be a little bit more quiet and a little bit simpler i guess okay on to this eyeshadow one of my super sweet best Instagram friends, um, she got me this from Elsie. This is the brand. Okay, I've heard of this brand. I don't know how to say it, but I know that they have good stuff, okay? So she wore this stuff on her eyes, and I was like, girlfriend, what is that? I need it. And she bought it for me, and she gave it to me as like a sweet gift. So 
Um, I'm going to use it on my eyes. This is the color Amethyst. <laughs> it's so pretty. So I'm applying it with my finger because that's what I do with shimmers. I know that looks crazy. I know. <laughs> um, I'm going to add some more colors to it and blend it out. I don't know. I think through people's lives, I get so encouraged and... Um, good segue, Chloe. I, I do. I get really encouraged by... Um, people sharing and being vulnerable and I know hearing from you guys you guys appreciate the same thing you guys like authenticity you like vulnerability and you like realness and I think that's that's something that we're straying away from in our society nowadays is like everything has to be perfect and quick and fabricated and uh, not a lot of people know how to be real anymore or are scared to be it makes me sad because i think we're living like two different lives like a life inside of us it's like i want to share this but then like we're scared because of rejection or i think we just need to fill our minds with positive people um who encourage us i always say i like to unfollow people which is weird to say but um I do. I like to unfollow people on Instagram. So I just kind of like to do a cleaning out of like, when I open my Instagram, what do I see? Do I see people who fill me with positivity or do I just kind of feel like meh? And uh, we need more positivity in this world. So I don't know. I encourage you to unfollow five people who don't do that for you. That's weird to say, but I think it's a good thing for our mental state. So I'm not going to lie. <laughs> through this house hunting process i've been following house pages like you know home decor amazing women who just like rock decorating their house and sure they get sponsorships all the time for great things that like normally us regular people can't afford um or at least i can't we were looking at houses at like the very top end of our budget and it got me in like a weird headspace because I felt myself being like, oh, I want it to look good when I take pictures. I want good lighting in my house. I want this. I want that. And it was just like, why? Like, what is the purpose of us moving to Tennessee? It was like a simpler life where we can like create memories. And so this new house that we put an offer in on, it's smaller like it's daintier, it's more homey than what we have been looking at. And it took me a second to like adjust my mind to thinking that way. But I'm, I think if it works out, I'm going to be really happy. Um, I just, I don't know, I needed to humble myself. And I realized I was getting excited over things that really don't matter. And I was getting disappointed in things that like ultimately would be more of a burden. Because mine and my husband's like dream throughout our whole marriage is just having a paid off house so that we can have financial freedom to make memories and not feel like we have to work all the time. Um, and so just because we can qualify for a loan that's this much doesn't mean we need a house that big. You know what I mean? I don't know. It was just a realization I had uh, this past week where I was just like, I want to live simpler. So I hope that that is going to be our reality when we move. I know we're fortunate to both work from home. I know a lot of people can't do that. That's another reason why we're moving is because here we can't there. I don't think we'd ever be able to have financial freedom. Like there's just no way here. It's so expensive, but you know who else is doing it? And I'm really, um, I'm really encouraged by her as well is, um, crystal clear makeup. Her name's Crystal. She's on Instagram. She's great. She is so stinking cute. But her and her husband, like, lived in a big city in Canada. And I'm sorry. I don't really know my Canadian cities, so I'm sorry. <laughs> but um, they ended up moving back, like, to a really small town. I don't know if she was raised there or he was raised there. But um, they're just going to be with family. And it's like she said it's in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> She's simplifying her life, doing what's best for her family. So I think that that's great. Kudos to you, Crystal. You'll never see this, but love you, girl. Also, she does great makeup and I don't. <laughs> I get by. <laughs> I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna put eyelashes on. Honestly, I had a really hard time choosing eyelashes that looked okay. I don't think that these look great. Um, 
I don't know, for some reason I'm having a, a makeup funky day. I mean, it looks fine, whatever, but it's just not what I had envisioned in my head. And a lot of times that happens when I use darker colors on my eyes. I'm not used to it. It's too bright, especially on my lids. I love this purple, like really love it, but I don't know, I just struggle. I sh I'm a struggle bus when it comes to figuring out how to do dark colors on my eyelids because they there's so much eyelid space. Um, I feel like it really closes in my eyes. And then I tried like putting makeup on the bottom and it just, ugh. and then I tried putting white eyeliner in my waterline and I was like, ugh. and then I put purple lipstick on and I was like, oh my gosh, it's too much purple. So this is just what it is. I'm gonna do my hair. Um, I'll be back, hopefully. That'll end up a lot better than my struggle with this. I don't know, it just kind of tells the story of what I was talking about through the whole thing. It's like, whatever, nobody cares. People are gonna say, oh yeah, it looks fine. I think we're just too hard on ourselves, but I enjoy the makeup process. I, I think that it's just fun. I like having fun. I haven't really had fun with makeup in a while. So this was um a little different, out of my comfort zone. Hey, embrace it. All right, and this is the final, <laughs> whatever it is. Um, it's not exactly how I envisioned it, but that's just how this tutorial went. I think that this was just a venting session that I needed. Um, and I just appreciate you guys hearing me out and letting me be me. And um, I, me and my husband call it noodling. Us women, we noodle, like we could talk about one thing and it connects to another and we'll kind of finish whatever we're feeling or saying at the very end. And um, men are more compartmentalized like a waffle. They can only talk about one thing at one time. Um, so I have pushed a lot of people away right now because I'm moving and it's just like a defense mechanism to try to like, Ugh, prevent myself from getting hurt. I know it's not the right thing to do, but it just has happened. Um, so knowing that I can noodle with you guys has been really helpful. So thank you so much for watching and listening. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I know it wasn't something of a makeup tutorial I can show you, but this is the final result. So <laughs> thanks for watching me, supporting me. Love you guys.